Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I'm so excited to try out this beautiful palette from the brand Tres Luce Beauty. This is the La Flor de Mexico Shadow Palette. And I got this in my May 2022 BoxyCharm Premium Box. So that unboxing is up here on YouTube now if you haven't seen it yet. But I've been getting a lot of Tres Luce Beauty products in both Ipsy and BoxyCharm lately. And I love the products that I've tried out. So I'm excited to get to try out more. This has blue agave infused in it. It's cruelty free, vegan, and let me just show you how beautiful this palette looks. This palette also retails for $30, which is pretty reasonable, I guess, for eyeshadow palettes of this size and with so many colors. But look at this beautiful packaging and all of the shades in here. It's got the big mirror, which is great if this is going to be my travel palette. And such a nice mix of shimmery, sparkly, metallics, and then mattes. There's 18 shades in here. Wow. And I do like that there's a lot of good brown neutrals because those are seriously the types of eyeshadows that I am always reaching for. And I love that there's this matte white shade because that's a great prep the lid setting of the eyeshadow primer type of color that I want all eyeshadow palettes to have pretty much. The only thing I'm kind of missing when I first look at this is that highlight shade. But first things first, I'm going to go in with some swatches. Very drawn to these glitters. Oh my gosh. That actually could be a highlight shade. That is almost like a duochrome, a little bit more sheer. Okay, awesome. Let's try some matte shades. Oh my gosh, these really do have a great texture. Mm. This beautiful green sparkle definitely catches my eye as well. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay. Ooh, beautiful metallic. A nice matte, not crazy pigmented. Oh, that's such a neat, like, duochrome shimmer. I love that. A pretty matte. Oh, and that amazing green sparkle shimmer. As a great little pop of color, because this is primarily neutral, which I really like, but that green is so fun to just add that pop. I really just chose these shades to swatch at random, but I love how this color combination looks together. I love a cohesive palette, and these look so beautiful. Next, I've got to go in with my eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and I'm just applying this to one of my eyelids so that we can test these eyeshadows out with and without a primer. So gonna apply this all over lash line to brow bone and now I'm going to set the lid and kind of cancel out discoloration hopefully as well with this yucca floor matte white shade Ooh, not too much kickback which is nice to see and I'm not really focusing on building this up or anything just lightly dusting it over the lid so it is prepped for other colors i mean this doesn't seem like a super intensely pigmented white but it works for this purpose and i really love this shade here called birds of paraiso and it's not the shade that i would typically think to use as a highlight but it's got this really pretty reflective sparkle sheen that I'm going to just go for it and apply it onto the brow bone. That is so beautiful. It's almost like a surprise. Like it sparkles so beautifully and bright when it hits the light, but it's also kind of sheer and toned down. So it's surprisingly festive. 
is what it makes me think of. And then it also kind of works for that inner corner. Maybe not as light and bright as a highlighter usually is, but this definitely adds some fun to the eye. Oh, such a cool color. Up next, I'm gonna pick up this shade here called Morning Glory, a light matte brown. And I'm gonna start blending this into that transition area. So from the crease up to the brow bone, it'll go over that shimmer highlight shade a little bit to start creating some depth and dimension. And this is a nice shade for that. I'm finding this to be a little tricky to blend, just a little patchy. It has good pigment though. And I think if I can work with it enough, I can blend it out to what I want it to look like. But I do like that as a transition shade, just a little bit of contouring happening. And then I'm gonna pick up, let's go with this one, Petunia, maybe a slightly darker matte brown to focus this right in the crease and create even more depth to this part of the eye. It is a definitely warm tone brown. It has good pigment though. I feel like this is blending out the same where it goes on kind of heavy, a little like sticky down onto the lid, but it is able to blend out, smooth out after working with it. The colors in this palette feel tropical to me, which I love because it's kind of like that warm, summery vibe. But the shades are looking the same with the primer versus without it. And that's a good sign that these are good quality shades. I actually really like the look of this matte kind of burgundy red called Dahlia in the corner here. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and let's put this into that outer corner. So pretty. Give it a little interest to all the brown that's going on. And it's not too red. It's more burgundy purple. I really like that. There is no kickback in this color. Very interesting. And this one is pretty easy to work with. Pigmented, blendable. I'm just trying to use a little bit to not make this too intense. So this is looking perfect, exactly what I want. I've been using a lot of matte shades, so I Definitely want to use some shimmer. I'm going to pick up, let's see what this dragon fruit shade looks like. Looks really sparkly. Oh, wow. Very similar to this shade, Birds of Pariso, that I put on the brow. But that actually could look cohesive if I put this onto the rest of the eyelid. Yeah, that's really pretty, but surprisingly lighter and a little bit more sheer, kind of like a topper. But I like it with all these other colors. A super pretty color story, very like warm tone, smoky eye. I actually really like this. In this shade, I'm definitely applying a lot, building it up with my finger, but it has a lot of shimmer and sparkle and reflective glow to it that it looks really fun and pretty and interesting on the eye. Wow. I am seriously loving how this eyeshadow look is coming together. Super wearable. It's glam, but nothing too intense, which is definitely in my comfort zone, which I love to see. And based off all the colors and the shimmer on my eye right now, I think this will be beautiful for the lower lash line to pull it all together. This one's called Flower de Mayo. I'm surprised by how these shimmers don't show up super pigmented. Like I am layering and layering this 
to get it to even show. But it does work to pull the whole eye look together. But I guess I would have liked this to be a little bit darker, more opaque. Okay, here is my finished eyeshadow look. And I actually love it. I feel very beautiful in this eyeshadow look. When you look at this palette, I don't think the first thing I would expect would be this rosy, shimmery, kind of glammed up smoky eye, but I love this. I feel like this eyeshadow look goes with a lot of the types of outfits that I wear, so I can't stop looking at it. I love this. I'm definitely going to be recreating this, and I'm overall pretty happy with the formulas. They're not amazing because they're a little hard to blend, not the most pigmented, but definitely workable. It's just interesting. There's like barely any kickback, and sometimes that can make a difference in how blendable eyeshadows are, but there is no difference, noticeably, with the primer versus without it, so I'm really glad about that, even though I do typically just use an eyeshadow primer anyways when I wear eyeshadow, but that's pretty impressive that there's no difference without it. So this is another Tres Luce product that I am so happy to have in my collection. I can get so much use out of this as well, which is awesome. So if you have this palette, let me know what kind of looks you've created. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.